Now we will learn about the second step of the Jackson cross cylinder. And the second step of the Jackson cross cylinder procedure is called axis refinement. As you know that the best vision sphere of our patient was minus 2 spherical. So minus 2 spherical is our best vision sphere. And if you recall the first step which is called bracketing, our patient preferred minus cylindrical power at 90 degree. So now you have to remember this. We will put the cylindrical power from the trial box which has the same power as our Jackson cross cylinder. And you can see the power of the Jackson cross cylinder was minus 0 0.5. So now we will put a trial cylinder from the trial box having the same power minus 0 0.5 at the same axis. And the axis and the preferred axis of our patient was 90 degree. So now we will put a trial cylinder sharply at 90 degree. As you can see, the axis of the trial cylinder are 90 degree. And for the axis refinement, you have to remember the key line. And the key line of this second step is, we have to align the axis of the trial cylinder which are 90 degree as you can see here this is axis of the trial cylinder and the key line is you have to align the axis of the trial cylinder with the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder and as you can see this is handle of the Jackson cross cylinder right and the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder is aligned with axis of the trial cylinder behind right this is axis of the trial cylinder and we have to align the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder with the axis of the trial cylinder and now the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder is aligned with the axis of the trial cylinder as you can see and when the handle and the axis of the trial cylinder are at the same place, you can see the red line of the minus cylinder is aligned with 45 degree at position number 1. And now, if I flip the Jackson cross cylinder's handle at the same axis, now you can see the plus line of the plus cylinder is aligned with the 45 degree and now we have to ask the patient that position number one is better or position number two and now we are in the testing room now we will ask the patient about his preference can you see the line yes now tell me the line is clearer darker and sharper at position number one Or now at position number two it's clear at position number two that's right the position number two is when the minus line is coinciding with 135 axis and now we will move our trial cylinder which axis are 90 degree toward the preferred position as our patient preferred the direction of 135 now we have to move 5 degree toward the preferred position and now we will move from 90 to 95. So now our new axis are 95 degree. So now our new axis are 95 degree. And now again we have to align the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder with the axis of the trial cylinder. And our new axis are 95 degree. So we have to align the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder at 95 degree and now we will ask the patient that the line is clearer darker and sharper at position number one or at position number two it's clear at position number two right the patient is preferring again the position number two when the minus line is aligning with 135 degree and now again 
we will move our trap cylinder 5 degree toward the preferred position and now our new axes are 100 so now our new axes are 100 and now again we will align the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder at 100 degree and now we will ask the patient that position number one is clear or position number two both position are equally blur now the patient is saying that the both of the positions are equally blurred so now this is our the final axis so 100 degree are our final axis and refined axis and now i will repeat in few seconds as you know that in bracketing our rough axis was 90 degree and in excess refinement we moved from 90 to 95 from 95 to 100 and the 100 was our refined axis and keep it in your mind that in excess refinement you can only move four steps as you can move from 90 to 95 which is step number one 95 to 100 which is step number two 100 to 105 step number three and 105 to 110 step number four you cannot go beyond this hope you all understand in the very next video we will discuss about the power refinement